Voters being told to stay away. Engineers say the pilings of this bridge have been sliding, and they're worried this bridge could collapse and fall. The bridge is an old trolley bridge over the Clackamas River, and it's just down from the High Rocks area. Tim Becker is there. He's been there all afternoon monitoring the situation and getting updates from the officials. And, Tim, it's really moving, isn't it? Well, several homeowners in the area here have been really keeping a close eye on the bridge. I'm going to give you a live look at it right now over my left shoulder. There it is. Now, if that bridge ends up completely failing and falling into the river, it could undermine the foundations of their homes. That said, the Gladstone Fire Department tells me there have not been any evacuations in this situation yet. The water right now is running high and it is running fast. Engineers have been here all afternoon taking a look at the situation, deciding what to do. We have not been able to get any answers about what is next because they're still behind closed doors and gathering information. Everybody is keeping an eye on it, from Union Pacific Railroad, who owns the bridge, to the fire department. They told me how it all unfolded today. The homeowner here heard a large bang and the house shook, so they looked outside, saw the bridge shifting a little bit, so that's when we were called out. Uh, we arrived on scene really quick, and we kind of took some measurements of how it was sitting, and since then, it's, it's started moving tremendously. When I came home, I saw that the bridge leaned over uh, four to five feet, pitched over five feet. I know it's an old landmark and everybody loves it and you'll probably hear some comments both ways, but for safety reasons, it probably should have been taken out already. Probably not a matter of if, but when it's, she goes. It's, it's when. It's, yeah, it's, it's leaning pretty good, so there's no stopping this one. Okay, not a matter of if. But when this bridge drawing people all over down here, we're back live. You're taking a look at what appears to be uh, more barriers that they're bringing into the area. There are some barriers already behind me, between me and the bridge, because of construction that is going on down here. But boy, this is drawing people all over who want to come down and take a look at the situation. The shifting of the bridge that they say has moved six, seven feet or so since this morning. This is definitely. Uh, worth staying on and following up on. That's exactly what we're going to do and have an update for you about an hour from now. Reporting live in Gladstone, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. And we'll